Hello YouTubers, welcome to one of my videos. I've been trying to sort out the rear wash wipe on the motorhome on the Master Bronco and the jet there which squirts water on the rear window didn't work and I thought it was the um, plastic pipe that runs from that jet and it runs all the way through here all the way along there and it runs all the way down this side of the windscreen and it comes into the compartment and it goes to the washer bottle here now first of all it didn't work and I thought well what's happening is the pipe squashed during the camper van conversion but it turns out to be the actual washer there's two washer pumps on this um, windscreen washer uh, reservoir here and they're right down here now because it's been converted to a camper van there's obviously an additional battery and a battery tray now to get this out to get at the pump you have to take all this out completely it's a blooming nightmare to do so what I decided to do was to fit uh, a universal um, washer pump and I fitted it down there but to get it down here I've had to remove the grill and the headlight but luckily to get at the wires the wires are just down here they come off of this loom here so I cut the wire to the old pump which is right down there I cut the rubber pipe which goes up the door pillow and I fitted the standalone pump right down there behind the headlight right on the bottom uh, the problem is you can't get a drill in to put any bolts into it so I've actually used Sikaflex and I've actually glued it to the wheel arch down there now this is a temporary measure and the reason for that is you know when I do take this battery off in the future for whatever reason I will replace with the proper pump but it works fine as a temporary fix and I can get at the wire in here which is quite easy and uh, it's right down here behind this headlight and right in here and it's a nightmare so while this is off I've also gone and treated the chassis here for rust this cross member the radiator sits on and uh, hopefully that will prolong the life of that because there's a bit of rust showing and um, these plastic clips here that was intact and that one's intact that one's all right but this one was broken so what I've done I've drilled it and put a washer on it with a, a self-tapping screw in the middle so it'll grip the front grill now despite having all these different varieties of clips plastic clips and things like that none of them fit what holds the front grill in so that's why i had to repair that one and uh, there's others and these are just not big enough yeah despite having all these <laughs> i still haven't got the right one that will hold the um, yeah the grill in never mind now the two top clips are broken you can see that there's that one and that one so the only thing that holds this on at the top is one self tapping screw there so I'm going to actually put some cable ties through here and that'll grip it and uh, stop it from rattling and coming undone because there's nothing holding this in the best thing I've found to do is drill two holes like that and then with a cable tie you get your cable tie you poke it through there the right way around 
poke it through there like that feed it back up through the second hole like that you can see that poke it through the grip bit and then you pull it with a pair of pliers to tighten it. Right, I'm going to put the camera down while I do that and uh, I'll show you it finished. Hopefully you can see that. That's a cable tie and that's not going to go anywhere now. That's holding that quite firm and uh, you can see without that it moves backwards and forwards. So I'm going to do the same this side with a cable tie and then I'm going to shut the bonnet and I've finished.